Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. This is another palette rotation video, and this video is actually going to be all about the lips. So I'm gonna be doing softer eye looks and having my lip shades stand out this go round. So if you wanna see the three looks and just chit chat, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to connect with another enthusiast that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into the three looks. I'm about to create the last one right now before work. And I will be back after each look to tell you about how I feel. And uh, I'll be back at the end to wrap it up. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. So today's look is gonna be super fast because it, it needs to be. And in this look, I am going to want my lips to stand out because I'm trying a new lipstick today. This is actually the shade Icon by Dior and it's a velvet. Let me find it. It is so pretty. So there's the shade. And believe it or not, this is kind of a bold lip color for me. So I really don't want any type of grungy, smoky look. So we're gonna go today <laughs> for palette rotation with the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. I'm excited to use this because I had it a long time ago and sold it to a friend. And then, I don't know, I somehow wanted it again and got it for like half off. I am I'm gonna use that really fast and do a super fast look. So Let's start with Hive. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 202 brush. I'm just sweeping this all up in the transition area. I think that looks great. Let's go into Sting, which is the deeper color. This is actually a little darker than I wanted it to be already, but I think that's just me. Just putting this in the outer corner here, just to give it a little bit of smokiness. I'm not dragging it out too much today like I normally do. I'm gonna go into a shimmer now. Let's go right into Amber. I'm gonna use a finger. Just gonna tap that on the lid. Like I said, this is gonna be just super fast. I'm gonna take the shade Swarm under the lower lash line. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 207. Taking the shade Flyby for inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use a lavish pencil brush. And there's the look, super fast, super quick. But, you know, I wanted the lipstick to stand out and I want to be on time for work. So I'll be right back to finish this off. All right, you guys, here is the final look. All right, I'm going to quickly tell you what else I have on my face. Two ColourPop products on the eyes. This is my liner, y'all. This is the shade Two Can Do It. And it is a metallic gold. I just put that on the bottom lashes. I have my Act Natural Defining Mascara in brown by ColourPop as well. For my blush, I have on the Chanel Blush Comet in the shade Coral Etoile. That's the one with the star, which is, it's pretty much gone now, but I love this blush. On top of that, I have the Seamless Skin Highlighter by Lisa Eldridge, and this is the shade Cosmic Rose. It is a very, very dewy highlighter. Very, very natural looking. Uh, it's like right here. And then I told you about the lipstick already. That's it for the look. Uh, let me know what you think about this. It's just real chill. And um, oh, look, I have on my World Changer shirt today. We have to wear this for a fundraiser we're doing at school. So yes, y'all. That's it, let's get into another look. All right, you guys, back for look number two. I guess we can say that this palette rotation is inspired by lipstick shades, if I haven't said that already. So this is a new one, and this is a shade that has been out of stock. It was out of stock the entire Sephora sale, and it came in stock afterwards, but I had points, and I was able to get $10 off. This is the shade Limitless Cinnabar by YSL Beauty, and this is one of their Radical Mattes. And here's what it looks like. I have to say that 
These are the creamiest matte lipsticks I've ever tried. It does not feel like a matte. Now I did top this with a Lunar Beauty lip oil and this is called Dare Me. I think this has a peach scent, peach or mango, and this is definitely an oil. There really isn't uh, any pigment to it, but I just added a little bit of that on top just because, but you really don't need anything with this. It is, it feels like a cream lipstick. I've never tried a lipstick like this. So if you were interested, these are really great. I don't know about their older ones because they have like the slim glow and they have some other matte ones, but these are, they are so, so good. So it is May the 4th. So may the 4th be with you all, even though you're going to be seeing this much later, but let me show y'all my, my Star Wars shirt. So y'all, I did Amazon Prime these and I got one for Tyrone. I got, you know, the boys shirts. I needed a new one because I had to retire the one that um, I had. I don't even know, like, first of all, who created May the 4th be with you? Like, I have never heard of that. I think, I mean, of all the years I've been teaching, I didn't hear about this until like maybe two years ago. And I was like, let me get my Star Wars stuff together. Now, I do like Star Wars. I'm not a fanatic. I still haven't watched The Mandalorian yet. However, the child. Yes, I will be watching it at some point. All right, that's not what y'all came for. Since I'm doing what I consider to be a bold lip, and I love this. This is like my perfect red. This is kind of like Velvet Cinnabar, but I have I'm doing the neutral eye looks this week. So I was choosing between these two. And this first one is the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. Just the perfect neutral palette. If you like warms, these are great. Warms are your thing. However, I thought about it and I was like, no. We're gonna go with Platinum Bronze. This is the Mothership Subliminal and we're gonna go with this. This is my very, very first Pat McGrath palette. And it's my first one because it was $39. Because at that time, I still was not going to be doing the $125 price point. But this is like your cooler neutral palette. And yes, I put the date on it. I purchased it in April of 2020, y'all. It smells fine. And I'm Unfortunately, uh, I don't know where my card is. So that's that's a shame, but we're gonna just go ahead and get this thing going. Just so you know, all of these shades are shimmers, except this one matte. So this is gonna be a shimmer look. However, these aren't special shades or anything like that. So it's gonna be fine for today's vibe. Okay, we're gonna start with this shade. And I'm gonna take this fluffy brush by Dose of Colors. Okay, what is that? Oh, what is that? Okay, this is too much. I'm gonna have to fix that. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay this into the transition area, just as I would do my normal crease shade. Now, one thing I'll say about this palette is I bought this palette because I wanted something by Pat McGrath. I had no rap for this type of color story at the time. I was just really happy to, to have something by Mama Pat. I'm glad that I purchased it because I, I really do appreciate this type of color story now. And that took a long time because not only were neutrals not my thing, but cool tones definitely weren't and still do take some getting used to if I'm going to be quite honest. So I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy this look with this lipstick. Part of me right now is like, I should have went with the other one, but I just like these tones with the shirt and everything that I have on in the plaid shirt. I think it goes nice and I have on silver earrings. So I don't know. I just think it's going to be good. We're going to go into this color next. Same brush, just going a little bit lower and concentrating more into the crease. Now, I think this brown or bronze is a little warmer so you can kind of see it there versus on this eye and I kind of like that. And these shades are blending out like butter. This palette is two years old. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into this shade here 
And I want to say, no, I was going to say it's kind of like one of her skin show shades, but I don't think it is. This is also going to be my inner corner highlight most likely, but I'm just going to go ahead and place this on the front part of the lid. And then I'm going to go into this. What do you call this? Like a, it's almost like a taupey shade, but it's got. I think some purple in there that's going to be on the main part of the lid and I'll blend that all together and I'm kind of thinking I want this lighter shade to show a bit more so I'm just going to overlap that a little. Now I'm already feeling like this is kind of deep for these lips. It's probably fine but just the way I am because I wanted to take this brown here and smoke it out but I'm a little nervous to do that. Let me look from afar because that's how I'll know. Yeah, I almost want to stop here. I, I kind of do. So let's not smoke it out today. Everything doesn't have to be smoked out. It just doesn't. What I am going to do is take this Sonia G Soft Shader. And why don't we go into this bronzy shade here and see what we can do if we put it on the lower lash line, just to tie it all together. If I was wearing a more nude lip or lighter lip, I definitely would have taken the deep brown matte and I would have put it on the outer corner, but that's just not gonna be for this look today. And I'm gonna go back into this shade here and I'm just gonna put a little more on the inner corner. Again, this look is about the lips. So, you know, just trying to meet the eyes a little bit. All right, you guys. So here is today's look. Let me know what you think quick and easy. I'll be back with the finished look and my thoughts. All right, you guys, here is the finished look. I'm into it. So let me tell you, on my eyes, I use the Linda Hallberg Core Crayon in the shade Grige. This is one of my favorite shades. And there it is, you can see it's like a gray beige. I have on the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara, and this is brown. On my cheeks, this is the first time I've used this. This is the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Blush Palette. And I just took a combination of these two shades, Peachy and Pink Prince, which they showed up way more than I thought they would. I have on the Gucci bronzer in the shade three. And then of course the lips are the Limitless Cinnabar by YSL Beauty, topped with the Lunar Beauty lip oil in the shade Dare Me. So that's it. As far as this look, I like it. I'm just, cool tones are just, not my favorite looks, but I think this actually looks nice and I really do like the lipstick. So I like letting the lipstick stand out today and I can't wait to get into another look. So let's go to that now. All right, y'all. So this last look is all about, mm, hold on. This is the shade Dior Bar, y'all. Here's what the shade looks like. So good, so good. And I'm wearing it with a ColourPop liner. I'll show that at the end. My jean case. So for eyes today, we're going just with another neutral look, but y'all wait till you see the palette I pulled out. And don't do it, don't do it, because I really don't do it that much. Yes, yes, you see it, and I don't care. This is my beloved KKW Beauty Palette. This is her collab with the Winnie Harlow. And I need to stop playing around because it's eight o'clock. Look at this palette, y'all. I don't care. Cute. Yes, it is. Now, I think the more important question is going to be, do I still feel the same way about this palette's performance? Because I cannot tell you the last time I used this palette. You know, the last time I used this palette, I want to say it was at the end of 2019. It was my first picture post for my beauty Instagram page. I'm gonna pop that picture up. Yeah, so this is getting old. Let's see how it does. We're gonna start with the shade Kintsugi. Uh, you know what, 
I'm not even gonna read the shade names. Like, I don't, you can't even get this palette anymore. I mean, this isn't even a brand. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use this for the transition. This is a What's Up Beauty R103 brush. Let's get busy. Sounds so corny. Okay, gonna go ahead and swipe this on in. I know that y'all did not wanna give Kim, Kimberly, a chance but her makeup really wasn't bad y'all it really wasn't and she's about to rebrand i don't know what she's doing because i think there's going to be some home items on the horizon and i don't need all of that but her makeup wasn't bad you can say what you want don't judge i did happen to catch catch means i put it on on purpose the new kardashian show what is it called the Kardashians. There's two episodes. I was entertained, you know, because here's the thing. I have to balance out what I'm watching because y'all, okay, Bridgerton, you know, we've been done with that. Tommy, that's over. And there's not going to be any other uh, series in the power installments for six months, apparently. So I need something else. Now, here's, here's the other thing. we got to have balance, right? Because I stopped watching This Is Us a long time ago on season three, and I have decided that I was gonna embark on the idea of catching up. It's a lot. I'm gonna go into this deeper shade. I'm just taking an MSQ blending brush. So as far as This Is Us is concerned, there's a lot going on, and you know, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I'm just saying, for someone who is semi-binging this because I really don't have a lot of time to watch TV. There has just been a lot of emotions happening and occurring. So I'm on season five. I think I'm about halfway through that. So there's just, mm. anyway, so I put on the Kardashians because it's a show that I can just watch. I don't have to pay attention to, and I enjoy that. I enjoy not having to exert so much mental effort all the time because I feel like I exert, I am so mentally exhausted at the end of each day. It's like, it's just not even funny. Let's just try this red shade here and see what that's like. Same brush. So yeah, and I'm not saying it to justify. I, I enjoyed the show, I really did. I'm actually looking forward to the next episode, truth be told, so. That kind of inspired me to pull out this palette because I really liked this palette. I liked the quality of it at the time. And again, these neutral palettes are palettes that I just wasn't too appreciative of at the beginning of my makeup journey. I thought doing makeup was all about like color and trying to do these intricate looks and cut creases and all that. And now my philosophy is so different. It's just whatever you want it to be. Whether you want to do a cut crease one day, color one day, or neutral look one day, you know? I think that I've learned that makeup, like it's so much more about the fine details that people don't pay attention to that just make the overall look just so flawless. I don't know if that makes sense, but it could be your blending style. It could be how you do your base. It could, it's the color combinations, it's all of that. Like whether you're trying to do a dramatic look or a subtle look, you know what I mean? Mm, I like this, see this is just, this is excellent to me. Y'all are not gonna knock this uh, palette right here. Uh, let's see, um, we've, so we've got this gold here and we've, we've got this shimmer too. I think I'm gonna go with this one though. It's like a little, kind of a rose gold maybe, a little mauve. I'm just using a finger just to go ahead and tap that in. And you know, these are not the shimmiest of shims and that's okay. What I will say is this palette is performing exactly how I remembered it, so that's great. Going back into that original transition shade just to sweep a little bit under the lower lash line. Nothing dramatic. My voice is like, I don't know, it's still a bit in and out, but that's okay. I'm gonna stop there for the lower lash line. I'm gonna go into this shade here for the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take a What's Up Beauty R101 brush. I'm just gonna tap that in and, and that's it. I, you know what, I have to say, hold on. I have to say the girls did a great job with this palette. You know, even looking at this palette, I'm sorry, over two years later, what am I talking about? You've got daytime looks and nighttime looks. You have some cool looks and warm looks that you can do. 
And I, I just think that this is a palette that you could use every single day. So I'm not mad at the girls. I'm not. I will come back with the finished look and I'm gonna wrap up this video. All right, you guys, I am back with today's finished look. Just very chill, I love it. To finish off this look, I used a new liner that I purchased from Dior and this is shade 456. I don't think there is a name to this one, but this is the Dior Show On Stage Liner. I was not able to find another felt tip liner in this color. It's like an olive and I love this color. It almost reminds me of that Linda Hallberg Grige shade. I think I used that in this video, I can't remember. But I do like this. I did do a thin line up top, like just a thin line in the lashes cause it doesn't go in the waterline really. So I, I do like this. Mascara is the Melt Supernatural Lash Mascara. For blush, I'm still playing around with the un For blush, I'm still playing around with the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Blush Palette. Today I combined the shades Zeze and Beauty. And this is again, a very subtle, you know, wash of color the way I applied it because you can use Beauty and get a little deeper. But yeah, this is just what I was going for today. And of course I have the Dior Addict Lip Shine in the shade Dior Bar. Yes. All right, that's it for the look. I love it. The palette, I still love. So glad that I put this in the rotation. This is definitely an oldie but goodie in my collection. All right, y'all, let's wrap up this video. So I wanna say thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today for another palette rotation. I am getting really positive feedback about this series. So I do hope that you're enjoying it. And I'm also getting a lot of positive feedback about talking through the looks versus just putting on the music the way that I used to. So I just wanna say thank you all for reaching out to me and letting me know your thoughts because you know although this is my therapy I want I want to make content that you all want to see or that's easy for you to enjoy and I know with me the music videos are hard because I have to rewind them I'm talking about if I watch other content creators do those types of videos because I'm always cooking or just multitasking in some way whereas if I can listen to the voice I can kind of keep up with what's happening on the video without actually having to keep my eyes glued. So thank you so much for those of you who reached out and please continue to do that. I really love y'all. I really appreciate you all. And I hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go on, block your ears.